Yeah, we, we were close to and fell short of greatness many times. <laughs> no, it's all good, it's all good. I'm I'm just teasing you. Uh, I could run this board if I wanted to lose. I don't like either of these cards on her early boards. I can show you how I approach the early and mid game with Wurzer, but there's a very good chance that the end game is just going to turn into a, a shit show. <laughs> so... We'll see. We'll see how we go. This character was a lot easier to play last season. See, I'm not very good at her. I roll fives. Yeah, I kind of go back and forth on how much I like Wutsu as a character. It was hard to like her last season. Because she was just such an oppressive... Such an oppressive force. This is a hard choice. I don't know what side you're like on her. Plant Master has seemed a bit worse recently. Elixir gives me a board right now, which is pretty helpful. I'm just gonna take Elixir this game. I haven't played Elixir on her in a long time. It's possible it's also just breakthrough. Just kick both of these and break through. It's pretty good. I don't have any flanks is the main thing I'm missing. It looks very good. The Xiao Bu stand. I at least... I don't know. It's possible I'm going to come around to hating Xiao Bu. Certainly after today's performance. I'm gearing up to. Um, but the whole like self-debuffing and internal... Uh, and cheating on Chi, uh, 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 two things I very much like in my games. So she definitely fits more in with what I like to do than Wutsa. The HHH board was fun for a while, and then it kind of stopped being fun. <laughs> I've a maxed pump on though. Store Chi is kind of cute on her. These are both kind of good for her star power boards. This is 6 max HP. Kind of thinking at solid foundation. It could easily be Stargaze or Store Chi though. Store Chi has special text on her. I'm gonna take solid foundation. Not really happy with any of them, to be honest. Also, not really happy with this, but you work with what you got. I could do perfectly planned one Sparrowish Dale. Or. Slightly better, it's two star points. I'm gonna get destroyed by Jiang Ximing. So the key is you never roll until tier 3. <laughs> And then on tier 3, you hopefully find your board. Paint is good for that. Elixir's a little bit worse. She is pretty hard to play. That much I agree with. Very hard character to play optimally. Ooh, I rolled a 7. I rolled a max. That's how you play Wutsa optimally. I'm very surprised to see that he is an Elixirist. Solid foundation, solid foundation. Good job, solid foundation. But I don't want any of this. Proper omen is good on the star power boards, but so far from it. I would love an astral move of some description. I'm not an imposing gamer, and I could be a stillness Citadama gamer. Over like small recovery elixir. It's kind of just a slow small recovery elixir. Alright, I'll hold on to it. It's decent. This is the other problem with going elixirist, is you kind of want to use your continuous slots. I have not decided, Senpai. I have not decided. If I see hexagrams on three, I'm definitely going to do that.
Nine. Nine's a real number. That defense is not real, unfortunately. It's a little bit real. One is also not a real number, unfortunately. Fourteen. All right, we take those. All right, well, now that's probably better than the elixir. What's in the shop? Mindman elixir, randomly change all cards. When you absorb a sect card, gain exchanges. Okay. So I can cash this out if I want. I do want to be on tier three. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Alright, before I start absorbing sect cards, I have to take back to exchange. I don't have any hexagrams from my innates, which is, uh, not great. But I do have solid foundation and two astral move flanks. Get a hunter becomes prayer. Yeah, minus twenty destiny for sure. Not a sect card. I've won the game. I don't have any hexagrams. <laughs> Not free yet. I could roll the... I don't want to roll the Palm Thunder because I want to absorb it. I'm just going to lose this fight, I suppose. Oh, Senpai. You have Rat on Rat? Incredible. That's way better than what I'm doing. I agree, you have won the game. So I'm probably still going to take her tier 4. It depends. I guess now I find multiple starry moons and hits, I might not take her tier 4. I guess I'm not going to find hits. I'm not going to find flies before tier 4, which is unfortunately the kind of critical part. But probably still okay. This guy's still on tier 1. Guy is still playing his tier one board. I'm low rolling these uh, palm thunders pretty badly. Is this a fire spirit rush here? Normal attack. I did a little bit better than that. Should probably break through, friend. Playable. Ruthless Water. That's kind of not playable right now. Falling Thunder. Clutch. All these cards are in that like weird spot of being not quite good enough. I don't really care about Fletch. Drag Moon. Ah, man. Oh yeah, boy, drag man. Doesn't really change very much, but makes me feel better. Probably just combining them. I'm never going first, right? I go first. I've got drag moon, which makes the hexagram boards a lot better. 
damn, this child took his tier 3. Unlucky. Also, it's not clear that going first is even better for me. I waste 8 healing. Or 6 healing. It's probably still better for me. 9. Close. Lost not doing anything. Beautiful. Alright, alright. Winning mid games. Very good, very good. Chitami's fine, but kind of chi limited. It's a good upgrade. What am I doing here? I have these drag moons, which I love. You would have kept the chi therapy. I really don't want to exchange this. Therapy was good. And my hexagram card's pretty solid though. I don't have a hexagram to play at the moment. I don't even think I'm breaking through here. I should really break through here and put this on my board. Eat like this, this, this. Should definitely have just broken through. <laughs> you can drag into the Thunder, then drag Rin Chi. Drag Moon into Thunder, then drag Moon to Chi. Wouldn't I rather just Falling Thunder on that board? Lee Jansen. This may be my last game, but I will definitely do that the next time you're in my stream, Lunison, if, uh, if I don't get to it today. No, I just have this in the shop, which gives me upgraded cards for absorbing. Uh, more rolls for absorbing upgraded cards. I really want, like, a Lake Hex. I can do Starry Moon crap if I want it. Absorbing all of this, it's gonna roll. Formicide. I feel like I have to hold this Formicide, even though it seems kind of terrible to me. All good, all good. That's what the uh, the notepad is for in my Discord. If I remember to update it, which no guarantees. <laughs> I'll try to, though. Starry Moon probably should be on my board. I should play Starry Moon in two. Nice. Max roll that. Unlucky. Missed the 1%. Oh, Lunison. Last slot world smash is... a little terrifying, but... this guy's not having a good time. Make is good, but hard to support. I don't care about Spiritage Elixir. This just still will not discount. <laughs> discount, goddamn you. All or nothing. That truly is all or nothing. Look at this trash at the end of my board. It's so bad. Am I ever going first here? It's pretty unlikely. 
Should I ever hit hexagrams on five? Otherwise I have no plan. <laughs> Bad to have no plan. Be patient on the exchanges. I am at 91 destiny. An effective 110. Unless I take the star power on tier 5, then I'm on 100, which is pretty good. But I may start losing fights, which would be not so good. Take 10. Yeah, that pretty much always kills him, right? <laughs> Surely this never misses. There's a lake hex and a secret of sect enchantment. I don't think this can be good. Ah, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Now we're cooking. One hexagram, two hexagrams. Recharge, two hexagrams. Do you want to come down in price a little bit? I think I'm just going to absorb this perfectly planned. I'm not playing it now. This card is unplayable. <laughs> you should never play it. I wonder if... Uh, hmm. I wonder if that's a sect card. I assumed it's not. I guess it's possible it is. One, two... I'm kind of breaking through next turn. It does count as sect. Interesting. Then I shouldn't have done that. I did it because I assumed it wasn't. But if it is, then that was wrong. It's a level 3 sect card. My bad then. That's two exchanges I missed out on. Which is a pretty significant... Uh, a pretty significant amount of exchanges to lose. Okay. This Lake Hex has made this board playable. Fly also improves the board. I still have to pen spa spend 10 exchanges to uh, eat my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I should just do this then. <sighs> do I have to take the fan? Fan or bodybuilding? Yuck. Thickness? Alright, Senpai. Senpai sold me. By saying thickness. <laughs> Alright, we'll we'll make this work. I'm not painter. So I need to find like a million copies of Heaven Hex. And H H H. But I got a lot of exchanges and a lot of destiny. And a lot of max HP. So those things collectively end up being pretty good. Yeah, I know Fan has some... You can string it together in a way that's sort of workable. Just feels a lot worse. Just take bodybuilding and be sad. You do have 20 extra HP. Which is not a bad thing to have. I am I am playing a hybrid star power uh, hexagram board right now. Under the hexagram, just always high rolls. It's great. Hmm. I wish I had done three more damage. Maybe don't hit me again. That qualifies. All right. 
let's find a million enlightenment elixirs. I didn't expect it to actually happen. This board's like not quite strong enough, right? I should probably roll the Falling Thunder. What if I find another Enlightenment Elixir? I also want to eat the Enlightenment Elixir, the Fallen Thunder instead. I could take the Star Trail Divination for 7 Destiny to roll something. I'm not really convinced. Can combine them. It is one cultivation to do that, but we're always going second here. I'm gonna be a little bit greedy and hold the Falling Thunder and just take a take a loss here, I think. Yeah, maybe I'll just get Dharma. 2 chi, 3 chi. I could turn my Enlightenment Elixirs into other cards. That's probably not good. I could just drag my whole board down. <laughs> it's a shame you can't put Enlightenment Elixir on your board. Let's get rid of all of it. Yes, I'd like to cash in all of these cards, please. Please, I'd like some new cards. I'm surprised this guy went last. This guy's board... It's come a ways. He was having a really rough mid-game. The Enlightenment Electric Achievement? I do, actually. I got it on stream. I was like the last human in the world to get it. It was a, it was a very big deal for me when I did get it. What is she doing over there? Why is there a flying brush on that board? It's gonna chase into chase on second cycle, which I love. New and inventive ways to chase into chase. There. She gets to take a little a little win here. Gets to stay in the lobby. Cup Omen is a into star power. I don't need more than that. That's also a into star power, but I'm kind of playing for this. God, this, these rolls have been so difficult. If I roll this, I'm never getting it back. We'll, we'll find a real card. Not right what I had in mind. Let's just try to find like pieces for HHH. Or more copies of Astral Move Fly. That's good too. That was the other thing I had in mind. I could roll the... Sorry, man. That doesn't quite work. This works okay, though. Let's find a card that does something. Enlightenment Elixir? Okay. I could just never use these Enlightenment Elixirs because I never have a card to upgrade. That, that could work. I hope he tries to prop Omen. Unlucky. Let's take a turn off to charge up the five thunders. Aha! Bodybuilding and solid foundations. Unlucky. So we kind of want HHH, Flame, uh, Escape Plan is pretty good, I think this ground's really not where I want to be. Oh god. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. How much sword intent is this? Nine? It's like a million. 
It's like a million. This doesn't do anything against him. I really need more of this card. There's the first Heaven Hex. That is lines. I don't think this does anything, but <laughs> just charging up a Dharma for him. But look, it full chases. If it full chases, it must be good, right? See ya, Senpai. Thanks for hanging out. Good job, God Up Elixir. Good job. Good job, Escape Plan. You really did it. Showed him. Don't know if I kill him before he gets back to his sword intent, but uh, you know. That's that's for the details. Easy. Easy, 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 easy game. Nice turn four kill. I can turn two side. One, two, three. Uh burning seal, so one, two. It's not great. That's monstrous. Actually, it's just a monstrous board. How am I going to handle this? One, two... I can't go first. I'm too slow for that. Got the... Escape plans are terrible. Still kind of building to this, uh... Still looking at this Five Thunders as, like, maybe a thing I can do. This board definitely dies. It's too slow. I'm just going to give him a million chi, and then he's going to kill me. It's kind of cute to side the, uh, the thorn, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think. I don't have a HHH, which is definitely the thing that is making it hardest to put this board together. The fact that I just have no out to, like, doing something strong until I draw it. Which, it's not even going to be that strong with this, uh, Lake Hex providing the majority of my hexagrams, but at least I can upgrade, like... Okay, okay. I did say this was the card I wanted. Let's see if that's true. I really don't want to pop these until I have another Heaven Hex to upgrade. I really want more Lake Hexes. Side upgrade is fine. Side on 2 doesn't really do anything, but Lake Hexagram does break prop. Which is good. Lake Hex breaking prop might be enough. Do I want to play HHH yet? It's pretty bad at the moment. Because I have to like chase into it here and then chase back. I don't have quite enough G for that. Hey Mr. Avocados, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. 
I'm gonna trust that breaking prop does enough work here that I'm okay. Maybe that's ambitious with this Hunter Becomes Prayer here. <laughs> Enlightenment, we get rare skin. Yeah, as soon as I've got a card worth upgrading, we'll pop it. As soon as I have a single card that I want to upgrade, we can play it. So that prop doesn't work. Probably still die to the five thunders, but we'll see. I still have this thunder hexagram rhythm on my board for some reason. Seems like it probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> That's not particularly strong on his board. Hmm. Okay, it's time. That's good. Level one cards are this, this, this. Kinda wanna hit the uh HHHs and Heaven Hex. That's chase into chase. <laughs> fucked it up. After all that, I fucked it up. <laughs> uh, I spent too long looking at my board. You gotta chase into chase. It's not a HHH board if you're not chasing into chase. Sorry, surely he can't beat escape plan. He just can't beat escape plan, it's fine. Now we suddenly have a million of these, and it's the Smero. I don't need more Heaven Hexes. One, two, three, four, five. So it kills me on five. I go one, two, three, four. And I probably don't get to five. I might get to five. I could also just do the one HHH. Sideworks here, yeah, that's funny. I suppose if I want to look to just, like, not play it. Like, just try and go first. Oh, I got an exchange. Oh, I think everyone has the Shadow Owl Rabbit, Leo Panther. So, you're about to have a pretty wild game. No, I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure it means everyone gets rabbit. I think that's what we uh, determined. I wonder if my board is slower than it should be. Like, if I should just be combining some more of these cards. Yeah. Exact lethal. Hmm. Okay. Great spirit. 
Well, if it was exact lethal, then Great Spirit means I'll live. This is useless. Yeah, Destiny in a Dream. I could also try to Five Thunders him. And combine these. Or do like this and try to go for the kill. Man, there's a lot going on here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I could combine H, H, H. That's what I'm thinking about. Six chi. It's a little bit bad if I don't kill him. I should have just kept that stupid heaven hex. <laughs> the weekend is cute. This doesn't kill me, but then I take a turn off, then he takes a turn off. Doesn't take a turn off, but I do kill him here. Okay. Guess I'll put a card here this turn, perhaps. Enlightenment Elixir, that's very funny. Side gets the nod. I don't want to skip Omen, though. Will I skip Omen if I put that there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll skip his 6th card. No, that's fine. That's not relevant, right? I go. Can I skip his five thunder? I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I need a star point. It has to be where the guard up is, so I don't think it works. This is boards not getting upgrades. <laughs> you don't play have to star, noted. It's a pretty big upgrade. So I could have sided here, which would have sided the Heaven Hex. Which wouldn't have been bad by any means. <laughs> Doesn't actually do anything to skip that turn. It's just kind of the same as not skipping it. If I could max that Great Spirit, that would be pretty good. It's definitely better than maxing a... Upgrading either of these is better than upgrading a Five Thunders. Because the Five Thunders doesn't really do very much. Or would I rather upgrade here? Great Spirit or Hunter Becomes Prayer. Probably Great Spirit is also slightly more likely. Interesting. Is this better? This is probably just better than what I'm doing, right? Much better.
This is the last round. Uh, I should have changed all my cards randomly. Can I hit anything? H, H, H. I think Hunter becomes Prairie is better. The problem with Five Thunders is it spends all my hexagrams. I'm glad I got a million HP. Oh, he upgraded his prop. That's a lot more damage. That might kill me. Not quite there. Ooh, he's still wasting that turn. Love it. All right. All right. <laughs> That's how you will sir, it's that easy. Easy character. So cozy. Not a moment of stress. The whole game. Very, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable 22 round game. <laughs>